Do you have a freezer full of breast milk? Are you wondering if it's a good idea to keep a freezer stash of breast milk for your baby? The answer is no. In this video, you'll learn why it's not a good idea to keep a freezer stash of breast milk for your baby and why it's important to follow guidelines for storing, handling, and feeding breast milk. Let's get started. 1. What are the guidelines for storing, handling, and feeding breast milk? It is important to follow the guidelines presented by the American Academy of Pediatrics AAP when storing, handling, and feeding breast milk. Breast milk should be stored in clean containers at room temperature or refrigerated and used within 24 to 48 hours. If freezing, breast milk can last up to eight weeks if placed in an airtight, freeze a safe container with a lid and stored in the coldest part of the freezer. In order to thaw frozen breast milk, it should be placed in a bowl or container of warm water or thawed overnight in the refrigerator. Breast milk that has been warmed should not be kept at room temperature for longer than an hour before being used. 2. What are the risks of keeping a freezer stash of breast milk? Keeping a large freezer stash of breast milk can carry certain risks. First, the nutritional content of fresh and frozen breast milk is not the same. Nutrients in breast milk can be degraded over time due to oxidation or other factors, meaning that frozen breast milk does not always have the same benefits as freshly expressed breast milk. Additionally, if breast milk is frozen for too long, bacteria can grow in the stored milk and cause an infection. This can be particularly dangerous to a newborn baby whose immune system is not fully developed yet. Finally, it may be difficult to keep track of how much breast milk has been defrosted and used, causing parents to run out before their baby's next feeding. Ultimately, it is best to feed babies freshly expressed breast milk and freeze only the extra milk on an as-needed basis. This will minimize the risks of freezer storage while still allowing parents to have some convenience in terms of storing milk for their baby. 3. How long can breast milk be stored in the freezer? Breast milk can generally be stored in the freezer for 6 to 12 months. It is important to use storage containers that are designed specifically for breast milk and follow guidelines from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services when it comes to how much milk can be stored together, 1 to 2 ounces per container. Generally speaking, the less frozen breast milk is thawed and refrozen, the longer it can last in the freezer. It is important to ensure that stored breast milk has not been exposed to bacteria or spoiled before storing it in the freezer. Additionally, if there is any question about the safety of a particular batch of breast milk, it should be discarded. 4. What is the best way to thaw frozen breast milk? When it comes to thawing frozen breast milk, it is important to remember that the safest methods involve warm water and not a microwave. The best way to thaw frozen breast milk is to place the container in a bowl of warm water for 15 minutes or until the milk has reached room temperature. Additionally, you can also place the sealed container of frozen breast milk under running tap water for 15 minutes. You can also place the bottle in the refrigerator overnight to thaw slowly. It is important to remember that thawed breast milk should never be ray frozen. 5. What are the risks of feeding a baby thawed breast milk? Once breast milk has been frozen and thawed, it can no longer be considered fresh. After the process of freezing and thawing, some of the more delicate properties of fresh breast milk like certain vitamins and antibacterial components may not remain intact. This means that a baby won't get the same nutrients from thawed breast milk as they would get fresh. In addition, there is a risk of bacterial contamination associated with feeding a baby thawed breast milk. This is because it's difficult to ensure that the breast milk has been handled and stored properly between freezing and thawing, which could allow bacteria to grow and spread. Finally, there is also a risk that the baby may reject thawed breast milk due to a change in taste or texture. This could lead to problems with feeding and nutrition, as well as cause distress to the baby. 6. How can I ensure my baby is getting enough breast milk? If you're worried about your baby not getting enough breast milk, the best thing to do is track their wet and dirty diapers. The number of wet 
and dirty diapers should increase over time as your baby grows. You can also talk to a lactation consultant or other healthcare professional if you have any concerns. Additionally, you may want to supplement with formula or other dairy-free options if your baby isn't getting enough breast milk. Remember, every baby is different, and it's important to do what works best for you and your baby. Don't forget that frequent breastfeeding sessions are key to maintaining a good supply of breast milk. We hope that this video has helped you understand why it's not a good idea to store your breast milk for later use. Remember, every baby is different, and if you have any concerns about their breastfeeding or nutritional needs, make sure to talk with a healthcare professional. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in caring for your little one.